When I was a child, it was, it was lovely having my parents, particularly my dad, reading to me. He would make the words just come alive. He'd put on the voices and change his kind of body shapes. Um, and it was almost like a little mini play when he was reading stories. Um, I really appreciated that. And for somebody who didn't speak, I had a very bad stutter as a child, so I didn't talk very much. So reading or somebody reading to me was my way of sort of loving words. It was, uh, it was very special. One of my earliest memories actually isn't of reading myself, but it's of being read to, particularly by my granddad. And while I'm pretty sure I didn't appreciate all of the um, detail within Treasure Island or the Jungle Book, um, I think there was something about an older, respected male member of my family getting pleasure and, and seeing pleasure in, in kind of reading himself and reading to others. From as early as I can remember, I was reading everything that I got my hands on. If I have to pick one book that I most loved as a child and went back to the most, it would be Joan Aiken, The Wolves of Willoughby Chase, and I'm going to sneak in its sequel, Black Hearts in Battersea. Everything about it um, just thrilled me as a child. I've got some really fond memories of being read to as a child and there was one particular book which st stuck out to me when I was asked this question and that is Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. Here it is. Um, in all classic teacher ways I brought it along with me. This isn't the one that I was read to as a kid but I now have a copy that I share with my own children. You can tell it's well loved. It's got various bits of snot and cowpaw over it um, and it's been well thumbed. My mum had a lovely voice of reading and the kind of cadence and in and out of the language in here really was something you could soak up as a kid. As a child, I was in hospital for long periods of time and I remember both my parents and my grandparents spending hours by my bed and reading a small pinch of weather to me over and over again. And for a child who was confined to bed, um, it took me to a world of witches and imagination and, and children having adventures and it really kept me going um, during those many months in hospital.